If you're looking for a vacation spot for you and your family with that small town feel and big city amenities, then Franklin County, Florida is the place for you. We're here at Florida's Forgotten Coast, which is known for its sugary white sand beaches. This one in particular, Carabelle Beach, is known for being the former site for Camp Gordon Johnston, which was used as a training facility for the D-Day amphibious landings. One of my favorite parts about vacation, shopping. And there are so many cute shops right here in this area. So let's go check out a couple of my favorites. Dixie, when I was walking around doing some shopping earlier, I saw that there's a lot of dogs everywhere, cafes, down the streets. Um, do you think that there's a lot of dog-friendly places here in Franklin County? I do. I think Franklin County is probably the dog-friendliest county in the nation. Mm -hmm. um, I think that pretty much all the accommodations have designated rooms and mm -hmm. for the dogs, and I know all the restaurants do. They have cafe, the cafes and all the restaurants have it. In fact, one has a covered area, so in case it's raining, you can still have your dog Perfect. with you. Yeah, yeah. and um, all the shops, I think, are pretty dog friendly. Who doesn't want to take their member of the family, right, their pet on vacation Correct. with them? Correct. In fact, we have a big contingent of snowbirds that come down, and most of them are in their RVs, and I think they do that just so they can have their dogs with them. And so. your, your store here is beautiful too, so I'm Thank sure they you. love that. They do, they love to bring their dogs in here, mm -hmm. and cats on occasion, <laughs> yeah. And you make your own dog treats here in house? We do, we do. About 20, 20 plus years ago, I had a lab that chewed on oyster shells, and she inspired me to make a treat for her, and the rest is pretty much history. Well, I'm gonna look around your shop just a little bit, maybe grab something for my pup Charlie too. Wonderful, why don't you take this bag of oyster bones to Charlie? Oh, thank you so much, and thank you for chatting with me. Thank you. So I've never been to a coastal community that had so much nightlife and live entertainment, live music, and there's no better person to talk to than you, right? Well, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the music is awesome on the, on the Franklin County coast. Mm -hmm. um, tons of local musicians that are really, really good that, yeah. that live here. That's awesome. Um, and a lot of people that come through, mm -hmm. some on vacation. Cool. Um, that like, are very good. Like bigger acts, you mean? Uh, well, sometimes we'll get regional acts that come through mm -hmm. that are bigger acts traveling to another area that we'll get. Cool. And sometimes we'll get actually famous people that come through vacationing. I bet that's such a treat. That's so fun. That's a ball. Yeah. and Because it's, it's almost a surprise for you as well, right? It's I'm sure absolutely a surprise. Yeah. And for people who are down here vacationing, fishing, pull up their boat, pull in over here and just kind of find somebody a little bit famous, bigger than they would be expecting, right? That's right. Yeah. It's that's a lot awesome. Of fun. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited. I heard also that you kind of go up there and shred some guitar as well. I do some. <laughs> I do some. Well, I would love to hang out and see it. So thanks so much well, for having me. you need to come. Me. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on sticking around. Very thanks for good. talking to me, Eric. Let's have a good night. <laughs>
here at the Apalachicola National Estuarine Research Reserve, it's not only educational, but fun for the whole family. Open year round, Tuesdays through Saturday. It's completely free and tons of fun. You have all of the ecosystems in Franklin County represented by the hands-on exhibits. So make sure that you don't miss it. It's right here at East Point on your way to St. George Island. For the more adventurous type, air boating down the rivers and through the marshes can really get your blood pumping. You might even catch a glimpse of some of Florida's prehistoric residents. The Forgotten Coast boasts some of the best saltwater fishing in the country. From fishing in the bay to chartering a boat for a deep sea excursion, it might be hard to choose where to start. And if you're lucky, you might even see a dolphin or two. If you captain your own vessel, you can dock at one of the many marinas located all over Franklin County. Whether you enjoy long walks on the beach or fast times on the water, once you experience the pristine white sand beaches of St. George Island, you'll understand why it was named one of the top three beaches in America. Franklin County is so rich in culture and history, as you can see just driving around with all the homes and museums. So if you love history, make sure you take advantage of all of the tours they offer all around Franklin County. So microbreweries are really popping up everywhere. It's the latest thing, but honestly, I was kind of surprised to see one here. Tell me a little bit about how you got your start. Yeah, it is kind of a small town to uh, have a microbrewery, yeah. but uh, some of my business partners got together about six years ago and they decided to open up a microbrewery. So many tourists were coming through mm -hmm. saying, what's your local beer? And they didn't have one. So they started brewing beer in their backyard. I got to join them about six months after they got this place kind of opened up mm -hmm. and uh, it's really blown up from there. Yeah, that's an interesting start. Um, and I know there's other places around town too. Oh uh, yes, I mean, everybody around here has got an entrepreneurial spirit. If you want to live down here, you mm -hmm. kind of have to create something for yourself. Um, as you can see with the new brewery opened up right across the bridge in East Point as well. Cool, lots of options because who doesn't love having a nice cold beer while they're on vacation, right? I know, everybody does. We yeah. kind of call it a husband daycare so they can come here and drink a beer mm -hmm. while the rest of the family shops. We've got places to eat and everything right Absolutely. here. Absolutely, yeah. So um, how many beers do you like to keep on tap usually? We like to keep between 10 and 15 on tap mm -hmm. um, depending on the time of the year. Uh, but we really want a variety of a lot of different things because craft beer has just boomed over the last five years that there's so many different palettes and we right. want to cater to each one of those palettes. Yeah, and I saw you did have a lot of options and I already found one that I like for sure. But thank you so much for sitting down and talking to me, Clayton. Let's have, let's have our beer. Yes, cheers. Cheers. So I know a lot of times when people think of this area, they think about the very laid back, casual atmosphere, but not necessarily think that there's five star options here. Is that correct? Do you think that's a fair assumption? I think that's a fair assumption, yeah. sure. You know, people think of the town as fried seafood, mm -hmm. raw oysters, ice cold beer, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's, a, that's, that's a, an, an accurate Right, which is delicious, yeah. And, uh, which is delicious, but there's more to it that. There's deeper layers, there's more diversity you know, in, in the amount of restaurants that are in the area. Because you are so fortunate to be on the water, I'm sure you really can highlight some of those things that you are so you have such easy access to, like the oysters and the other seafood items, right? Absolutely. The bay itself, the estuary, Apalachicola Bay itself, is a draw for chefs. I, I guess certainly one of the reasons I came down mm -hmm. was to be able to take advantage or have access to these products that inland you might not necessarily get quite as, as, as pristine. And really just keeping those things simple. Really simple. just highlighting what you have. Very, I, I, I keep things very simple. You know, we'll, we'll flash it up a little bit here and there, but the, the product itself is kept very, very simple. So really having that wide variety, it's a foodie's dream. And this 
is something that I know you are yourself, Chef Richard, are famous for. Your mom's chocolate cake, is this that This is my mother's cake. We call it Nani's, because that's, that's what her grandkids call mm -hmm. it. Mom, and she used to make this cake for special occasions. Well, I'm definitely ready to dive in, and thank Great. you thank you so much for telling me more. You're welcome, yes, thank you. recreation, Franklin County is home to some of the best golf in the region. Experience crystal clear water, breathtaking views, world-class fishing and golf, all served with a heavy dose of Southern hospitality right here on Florida's Forgotten Coast. for coming with me on my trip to Franklin County. We met some amazing people, ate tons of delicious food, and had some great memorable moments. So when you're choosing your next adventure, remember the Forgotten Coast is open for business.